that consciousness is the ground of all being. It is consciousness that is the ground of all being. Now this consciousness is sometimes called the quantum field, which is fine, just another name. The important idea is that we are positing consciousness as the ground of all being of which matter is a part. In other words, material objects exist in this ground of being as waves of possibility. And consciousness chooses out of these possibilities the actual event of experience. When consciousness chooses, possibility becomes actuality. Uh, there is in this uh, world of uh, now energetic medicine a new technology appearing uh, one is called the quantum biofeedback using the technology of the EPFX skill. And, and this is about this idea of uh, artificial intelligence. You spoke this morning, how far can go computers? And of course, this uh, artificial intelligence of quantum biofeedback attempt, you know, to assess the, the subtle body, subtle energies. And of course, has also modality of balancing body energy. But my question is about you know, what is the relation now with this, this advance, and you spoke a little bit about it, about this advance, uh, uh, artificial intelligence and consciousness. You know, how far can go the computer and how, and, and how important is the operator, the consciousness of the operator in the, in the, in the event that ha is happening there, you know, as a, a healing event. This is the most important question. Where come from healing for you? <laughs> I think you already answered, but I'd like to, to hear it again. You know? Well, it is it, it consciousness, consciousness that heals. Yeah. Consciousness that heals. Quantum physics, as I have introduced here, uh, you must be finding it a little bit puzzling, a little bit magical. And this is calm. Niels Bohr used to say that uh, one who has not been puzzled by quantum physics can possibly understand it. So this is good. And also, I must point out that whenever you encounter a knowledge system, it is very important to recognize that it's not just information. A knowledge system must be incorporated in your being. It's a question of what is your relationship with the knowledge system. Einstein said something like that, very important. And of course, the fundamental question that I always emphasize is that it's not just the knowledge system, but what are you going to do about the knowledge system? So for me, the Parabaraman question is now that we have understood quantum physics and, and, and the role of all these five different bodies in causing disease and healing, what are we going to do about this knowledge? So in the next lecture, I'll at least elucidate more quantum physics, make it more familiar to you so that you can think about what to do about it even better.